Alright YouTube, so Nintendo is not something I really ever talk about on the channel. I can only think of one other video specifically about Nintendo that I did make, and it was also a negative video. The last time I really talked about Nintendo directly was actually almost a year ago. I went and looked at the video. It was September 30th, 2017, and we were talking about how you could no longer live stream Nintendo games at all on YouTube. I don't know if it's been changed since then, but that's what we talked about last year. Prior to that, before 2015, if you were to upload a video that was covering Nintendo, it had Nintendo copyrighted materials in the video, Nintendo got all the ad revenue from it completely. And then in 2015, they made the Nintendo Creators Program, and then you and Nintendo got the ad revenue. I don't know what the split is. I don't know how who gets what portion. Uh, but you can start making money off of Nintendo games, you know, in 2015. And then 2017 rolls around, and they make it to where you can't even live stream at all Nintendo games, which is pretty damn stupid. And we're here today, 2018, almost a year later, to talk about something that's equally as bad, maybe? If you keep up with the Nintendo Switch, or if you own one, you probably already know some of this information. But we're coming up on the Nintendo Switch's online feature, I guess the ability to play games online, Nintendo Switch Online is what it's called. It's coming out September 18th, and along with this we're going to uh, have cloud save storage or whatever on the N Nintendo Switch, which is pretty great news, right? Well, it turns out if you are to at any point get rid of or cancel your Nintendo Switch Online subscription, you're going to lose every bit of your cloud save data. Now there is an FAQ where we're getting this information from, which we're going to look at in a second, but my biggest issue with this whole thing is that if your subscription doesn't go through, like say the next month, you're going to lose everything that you have saved in the cloud. The issue I have with that is, man, like sometimes the, the 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 card I use for my Xbox, like the debit card I use for you know buying games online and doing my Xbox Live, just doesn't work. It doesn't go through. It happened literally this month. Like I, I was, you know, the month monthly renewal for my Xbox Live, and this month it just wasn't working. I don't know why. There's plenty of money on the card. But it just did not want to renew, and I was forced to go to the store and buy one of the like pr the cards, like the three month twenty five dollar Xbox Live Gold cards, because I need Xbox Live for obviously Fallout seventy six is coming up, but for some other games that I play and stuff. But let's just say that David happens to have a Nintendo Switch, and I sign up for Nintendo Switch Online so I can play some games online. But the next month rolls around, and my card messes up again for whatever reason. It just doesn't renew. I then lose everything that I have saved on the cloud just because I don't have a subscription anymore to Nintendo Switch Online. Like, that's pretty fucking stupid. As much praise as Nintendo gets, they are honestly pretty damn anti-consumer. When you think about it, especially with the YouTube stuff we referenced at the beginning of the video, where they're, like, making all the money, and then a little bit of the money, and now you can't even live stream, and then now this. Like, this is a big step for the N Nintendo Switch. Like, you get to play the game online. They're also introducing cloud storage, which is great. But it's like the instant, the instant... That your cloud, that your Nintendo Switch online is gone, you lose everything that you have on the cloud. Like that is absurd. So right here's the question: It says, after my Nintendo Switch online subscription expires, will my saved data cloud files in Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online save data be erased? And the answer is, save data stored with Save Data Cloud cannot be kept outside of the duration of your Nintendo Switch Online membership. Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online also uses the saved cloud data, so the same applies. However, if you keep the Nintendo Entertainment System, Nintendo Switch Online, save data saved locally on your Nintendo Switch console, then you can use it again if you purchase another membership. So pretty much they're just telling us what we already talked about, that if you don't have a subscription to Nintendo Switch Online, all of your cloud data is gone. So they're pretty much telling you there to also save everything to your hard drive, to your local console, to your actual Switch, in case that happens so you don't lose anything. But that's, that's not enough. Like, that's not a fucking proper answer to this situation. This is all kind of new information to me because I kind of live in the bubble of Xbox One because that's the only home console that I have that I really even play. And with when it comes to Xbox One, cloud storage is absolutely free. You don't even need Xbox Live Gold. When it comes to PlayStation, you do need PSN to, to have cloud storage. But if you get rid of it, I think it keeps your data for like six months or something. So you have plenty of time to renew your membership or at least renew it for like a month just to get all your data saved to your console. Or you can even save all your data locally before the subscription's up if you know it's going to go away. Uh, but when it comes to Nintendo, the instant it's, it's your subscription's gone, you lose all of your cloud data, which is kind of crazy. And when when it comes to me, I don't know about you guys, when it comes to my Xbox One, I think just about all of my save data for my games is in the cloud. It's all st stored in the cloud. Obviously, the games themselves are stored on the console itself. But when it comes to my my game saves, like if all the cloud data were to just be wiped out or gone, like I would lose everything and all the time I put into all of my games. And this is just so absurd, like I said previously. This is just super anti-consumer. It's like either you keep the subscription or you're going to lose everything. 
like I said, Nintendo is not something I really talk about, but I feel like this was an important topic in discussion, and I call bullshit where I see it, and this is absolute bullshit. And Nintendo Switch is a popular console. I'm sure a lot of you out there have one, and you may not know this information. A lot of you are probably excited, you know, for cloud data, you know, storage, and, and like Nintendo Switch Online and stuff, but maybe you didn't know about this, and that's part of why I want to make the video for you guys, because this is very, very important. So if you're going to fuck with Nintendo Switch Online and the cloud saves and all that shit, like, save everything, back up everything locally onto your actual Switch console, too. I'll have the FAQ and the IGN article linked below if you guys want to check it out, and they'll probably link you to other stuff if you want to research it some more for yourself. But if you happen to have a Nintendo Switch, let me know your thoughts. Like, how does this make you feel? Do you even care at all? Does this piss you off? Whatever. Like, let me know. Really quickly, guys, I had to add this in at the end because I actually forgot to mention it completely in the video. Not only is this whole situation bad, we also learned earlier this week that not even every game is going to have cloud save functionality. And we're talking big games like Pokemon Let's Go and Splatoon 2. Like, these are huge games, like potentially games that would sell consoles won't even be able to save on the cloud. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, I legitimately don't even understand how a game isn't able to be saved with the cloud. Like, especially big games, like a new Pokemon title. Like these po Pokemon games look great, and, like, people are legitimately going to buy, the you know, a Nintendo Switch if they don't already have one for, like, a console Pokemon game. It's, like, old school, too. It's, like, Kanto region Pokemon game. Like, this is going to sell consoles. I'm not... Splatoon 2 is going to be very, very big. The first one was very, very big. And it'll probably sell consoles as well. And neither of these games can even use the cloud saving. So, like... I don't know, man. Just everything about this is sounding terrible. And as always, if you guys want to enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Turn on notifications. Follow me on Twitter at the Dashing David at my Discord. Links to my social networks are in the description and in the outro. Later, guys.